everybody. I am French, but I have been living in the United States for almost 10 years now. And a couple of years ago, I was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer called synovial sarcoma. So when my health problem started, I had insurance for my work. My company was offering two plans for health insurance. One had out-of-network benefits and the other didn't. So I chose the plan with out-of-network benefits. It's not so much that I wanted to go out-of-network necessarily, but um, I wanted to have the best plan possible. So what the out-of-network benefit meant uh, was that um, if I chose to go see a provider outside my insurance network, then I would have to pay 30% of the price and the insurance would pay 70% of the price. But there would be a deductible, meaning that up to $1,000 bill, I would have to pay 100% of the price. The insurance wouldn't pay anything. So at the time, that's what I understood about my uh, out-of-network benefit. So my story started with a suspicious lump behind the knee. My primary physician uh, referred me to an orthopedic surgeon. I had an x-ray done, then an MRI, and the conclusion was that I needed a biopsy. And the orthopedic surgeon told me he couldn't do the biopsy because he was not a cancer specialist, and uh, I really needed to see a cancer specialist, a sarcoma specialist, actually. So he knew of two guys uh, who, were speciali uh, who were sarcoma specialists, and he gave me the names. So um, I, go on, I go on my insurance uh, website and to check if any one of the guys is uh, in their network. And it turns out that one of them is, so I decide to uh, schedule an appointment with him. First, he orders a needle biopsy, and uh, when the result comes back, um, it's just inconclusive. So um, the surgeon decides to um, schedule um, an open biopsy. And so the day before the open biopsy, the hospital calls me to tell me that uh, they're sorry, but uh, uh, they want me to know that the insurance will not pay for the biopsy because the hospital is not in their network. And uh, I was very surprised. I mean, um, I didn't even think about checking whether the hospital was in the, my insurance network. And uh, I didn't know what to do. So um, I decided to cancel the biopsy and uh, to check what are my other options, basically. So I decided to go on my insurance website to check whether they have another sarcoma specialist in their network. As part of my search, I uh, looked at the information about the sarcoma specialist I had already seen, and I found that she was affiliated to another hospital, and that hospital was in my insurance network. So I thought, great, I call uh, the, uh, I call the, the specialist and I get the assistant and I ask her can I get the biopsy done in the other hospital the one that is in my insurance network and she tells me uh, no because uh, uh, yes the sarcoma specialist is affiliated to another hospital but he doesn't do surgery there he doesn't do biopsy there he only does consultation there so my only option if I want to have the biopsy done by this sarcoma specialist, I have to uh, do it at the hospital that is not in my insurance network. So my next question to the assistant was whether the surgeon could refer me to another sarcoma specialist from another hospital. And she told me that uh, the hospital was the only facility in the whole New Jersey that had a team of sarcoma specialists. And I would be making a big mistake if I was trying to get uh, my treatment somewhere else. Basically, uh, they were the only one who could give me a good care. 
So I thought, blah, 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 she doesn't want to send me to a competitor. So my next step was to call the insurance to check if they could find for me another Starcoma specialist in their network. But the, the insurance people had no idea what a Starcoma was. And their database was organized in a way that uh, it only showed a broad specialty like um, oncologist, orthopedic surgeon, gynecologist, primary physician. Um, so uh, they didn't care whether an oncologist, for example, was specialized in brain cancer or um, lung cancer or sarcoma. So they couldn't do anything for me. So I called the first orthopedic surgeon uh, that referred me to the sarcoma specialist. And I asked him if uh, he knew of anybody else uh, that was sarcoma specialist. And uh, he told me uh, he didn't know anybody else in New Jersey, but uh, he knew somebody uh, in New York. And if I was willing to go there, he could give me the name. So I took the name and uh, because my insurance uh, network was covering New York, so that was good. So I took the name and checked uh, my insurance website to see if it was in the network. And uh, this sarcoma specialist was uh, actually in my insurance network, but uh, he was not uh, uh, in the plan I was covered under. So for me to go to see that provider, it was like going out of network. So I did a search on internet and googled the names of uh, all the specialists I knew of. And I found they were all part of a society called, I think, Musculoskeletal Tumor Society. And so, and I found that, uh, I found names and addresses of a uh, lot more specialists, basically. So, um, I went on my intern uh, on my um, uh, insurance website to check uh, if any of the new names I got um, was in their network, and I found that a few of them were, but every time it was the same problem again. They were working for a hospital that was not in the network. On the other hand, some people were not in my insurance network, but the hospital they were working for was. So at that point, I was wondering what's the best. Uh, should I take a um, specialist out of network with hospi hospital in network or a specialist in network with a hospital out of network? So I called the insurance and asked them what is the best. And they, were to they told me it's the same thing, basically. It doesn't matter. So at that point, it looked like I was running out of option. And that if I wanted to have a biopsy done, I would have to pay for it. So I called back the hospital and asked them, how much does the biopsy cost? And they couldn't answer me right away. They told me that they have to find out. And when they called me back, they told me, we cannot give you an exact number but it should be in the range of $2,000. So I thought to myself, okay, $2,000, uh, probably I can pay for it. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe I don't have cancer, maybe after the biopsy, um, I don't have to pay any, anything else. So I, I shouldn't be worried about it so much. So I rescheduled this biopsy and um, unfortunately it came back positive for cancer. So uh, I asked my uh, sarcoma specialist if he could recommend a treatment that I could take somewhere else. Um, but he told me that's not possible, that um, you know you need experienced people to uh, administer the treatment. Not anybody can do it. So 